Well, some beaches along the Texas coast are seeing an unfamiliar sea creature that is washing ashore. That's right. Our own reporter Blake Brown is on San Padre Island, who has more on the fireworm and why we should watch our step. Blake. I'm here on South Padre Island. As you can see at the beach behind me, beachgoers are watching out for crabs, shells, and all things of the sort at their feet. They should also keep an eye out for the fireworm. Trying to avoid some, some stuff like uh, crusty, how, how do you say, shells? And, and I look for shells, jellyfish, any there, anything that's on the ground that I don't want to touch. Beachgoers we spoke to today tell us they go above and beyond to stay safe on the beach. But a new sea creature is starting to make appearances along our South Texas shores. Spotted south of Corpus Christi yesterday, the bearded fireworm can grow up to under a foot in length and packs a mean sting to back up their name. Marine biologist Tony Reisinger has seen them on South Padre once before. He says their cactus lice spines are there for a reason. What happens is if you touch one, it's like touching a cactus spine. It sticks in you, and for the smaller spines on cactus, it stays in your skin. So if you do touch one, and it's very painful. If you do touch one, you can use tape to remove it, or you can use vinegar to dissolve it. It takes a little longer for the vinegar to dissolve it. Some beachgoers know about the fireworm and are actively keeping an eye out. Yes, I have. I thought I saw one, but it looked like a stick, so I don't know. If you're at the beach and suspect you've seen a fireworm, report it to your local Parks and Wildlife. Working for you from South Padre, I'm Blake Brown.